Welcome, friends, to the Beaver Dam, where we're going to be talking about the Endor Raid today. So the Endor Raid is honestly something that's kind of killed me. I'm not a huge fan of the Raid overall, but I wanted to make an idiot's guide to the Raid because I'm an idiot and I need this guide and I needed it weeks and weeks ago and I just didn't bother. Uh, and so I've basically gotten a good grasp on the raid and I'm going to teach you how to do it without full autoing to get your max score to help out your guild without doing, you know, overly much work, honestly. So I'm going to try and give you the easiest way to get a good score in this raid. So, uh, we have this handy dandy little graphic here and so we're going to ignore most of it. Uh, so ignore basically all of it except for this one side on the left side. So basically, we have these, this is from the Swigo Raid server, by the way, thanks to them. Um, we have these guys on the left and these guys in the middle. Uh, basically, you're going to want a duo. Almost always, a trio doesn't actually help that much. Duo usually works best. Uh, so you want one from this side and one from this side. We'll bring up this graphic again. But um, the reason that we're doing that is because we want people that can stack evasion and that can utilize evasion. Uh, and so, for instance, one of the very basic ones is Iden Versio and C3PO. Uh, now, for remodding, there's a really easy way to remod these characters to get them to the place that you want them to be. Instead of modding all of this, we're actually, what we're going to do is we're going to make a mod loadout. And so, our goals with the mod loadout are basically as much speed as possible for our Imperial. And then we're going to want... Here, we'll, uh, we'll open it up and bring him over real quick. Uh, I have it from a whole bunch of different characters. If you can get it from one character, it'll make it easier to remod your uh, roster afterwards. But you can make loadouts to remod your roster afterwards. So just kind of pay attention to who you're taking mods from and then make mod loadouts for them as well. Um, but right here, we are looking for a crit damage triangle, offense, speed, and just basically as much speed as you can. Um, obviously, this is very quick. I'm not expecting you have this quick. But... The crit damage does up the overall damage that you do in the raid, and the speed lets you take turns more often. So this is basically what you want to try and go for as much as possible. So we'll apply that to our Imperial. And then for our Rebel, our Rebel's uh, loadout is going to be slightly different. What's most important is speed and then tenacity. You want over 100% tenacity. And we'll go over why once we get into the raid. But going in, you want to just try and get as much tenacity as you can and as much speed. So right here we have over 100% tenacity and that's where you want to shoot for is over 100%. So we got tenacity, uh, crit damage, speed. And so that's basically it for, uh, for that. And just like that, you have your people modded for the raid. And the nice thing is, is now you don't have to worry about modding all of your characters good and or anything like that you have these two loadouts and just every time you take one person from the first side and one person from the second side like piet and han solo um you just plug those right in and you can immediately use it it's so it's really really easy to get your mods done for the raid so you're not wasting time trying to mod them perfectly and it's not like the modding is very hard so it's very nice that you can just kind of do your characters so jumping in the raid, we know that, you know, their their abilities are different overall. Uh, so what we're looking for, uh, jumping in here, is you can see down here. Oh gosh, I hate the visuals of this raid. Uh, you can see down here there's three abilities. So we have deal damage, just the basic. We have one that gains jam. You basically are just avoiding anything that says the word jam. Uh, and then right here... All allies gain a stack of evasion. So this is the one that we want. And so you're always going for abilities that stack evasion. And you're avoiding abilities that uh, will stack jam. And so for the first two rounds of enemies, we're going to just hit the evasion ability as often as we can. And so how this works is we'll hit evasion on her. And you can see here that he now has four stacks of evasion and with four stacks of evasion that increases Iden Versio's basic damage by four and so that's why you're trying to stack evasion as much as possible is because for every stack that a rebel has you'll get more damage out of your imperial troopers basic uh and so we're gonna hit that again we are now up to eight 
and so then we can start hitting people because we don't have evasion ready and so we're just gonna hit this person so you can see here we just dealt 32 damage in one hit which is crazy already uh versus you know c3po here only gonna deal about 16. so you can tell the damage dealer is going to be whoever your imperial trooper is the reason that we need tenacity on our rebels is because these stacks of evasion can disappear and if they disappear too quickly we might have to restart our run it's up to you if you want to restart your run i get it some of you don't want to put work into the raid and i really don't either but if they drop too low i get it but tenacity makes it so that way he's less likely to be able to lose those evasion stacks so uh i'm going to go ahead and just kill off this guy stack that evasion every single time every single time it's available you stack it for the first two rounds of enemies so getting some big hits in just going through enemies we're doing solid and so as you can see as time has gone on we're starting to build up this percentage up here which is in rage and so once this hits a hundred percent we're basically screwed and our run is going to end very very quickly and so the reason that we use two people instead of three is because every time that we take a turn you can watch this every time we take a turn it goes up by a percent and every time we finish a round it goes up by like five percent or something like that and so basically you're trying to take as few turns as possible but still deal as much damage as possible so with three people you take too many turns and you end up getting enraged too fast so it's better to have two people than three <clears throat> so once again we're on the second round of our enemies and so we're going to keep stacking those evasions as soon as we have them and just dealing some damage so now we're up to 24 stacks so we're dealing some solid damage like we just dealt 48 right there so let's finish off that guy uh, if it had been Iden Versio, I wouldn't have wasted her big hit on him because he only had 10 health. This left side is their overall health. Uh, if he only has 10 health, I'm going to swap to the other guy. So, right there, 40. Uh, we're still in the second tier, so we're going to slap that evasion on. We're up to 32 stacks, which is solid. And we are into the next round. So now that we're on the third round of enemies, we're going to be looking at only hitting evasion with C-3PO. With... Iden Versio, we're going to just basic all the way through the whole match, and that'll ensure that we're dealing the most damage and maintaining as much evasion as possible. Uh, and you just kind of keep to that pattern for the rest of the time, and you should be fine. And if you can time it out just right, you can get a full score. A lot of the times, you're going to struggle, and you're going to get like within 100,000, which is great. Uh, so, let's just go at it. So C-3PO took a turn, so we're going to stack evasion. And now it's her turn. I'm going to try and get this guy out as fast as we can. Spread some damage. Uh, so she has evasion ready, but because it's the, past the second round, we're just going to go all in. Evasion hit right there. Uh, she has a big hit, raring to go. I'm actually going to swap to him because I don't want to waste you know the 50 damage we were about to deal and then we can just hit this guy with our c3po and knock him out so now big hit slap that evasion back on and big hit so we're up to 44 stacks of evasion so we're dealing damage equal to that plus 16 with our item versio basic let's start getting this guy down basic he's already down to 40 get that evasion big hit now we're going to go all in on this guy. Okay, next round, we have that evasion again. We're going to hit the evasion and the same dealio, you know. Uh, let's spread some damage just a bit. Finish off that guy. Now we're going to go all in on the Shadow Scout Trooper. Make sure you're avoiding the evasion when it comes to Iden Versio. Or whoever your Imperial and whoever your Rebel is, it's the same idea. D doesn't matter which Rebel, doesn't matter which Imperial you're using. So jumping in right here, you're going to hit him just for fun. Uh, big hit, we're already down to 28. I'm just going to basic here, and I'm actually going to move my target over here and start working on this guy. Um, and the reason being is because we're about to hit our Enrage a little early than we'd like. Uh, and so if we kill someone, our enrage goes up, so we kind of want to maintain 
these guys at low levels. Um, so that way we can try and get at least one more kill out of here, which there we go. So we got 800,000. Uh, also, if you have a little bit of time like this where they are enraged because they remove all evasion stacks when enraged and so you lose out on all your damage. Um, and so instead of trying to kill one of these guys, you can actually just hit evasion. And so we're at 801 and now we're at 805. So it just squeezes a bit more score out at the end. And there you go. Uh, that's basically all you need to do when it comes to these uh, these duos that you have here. Uh, so you can you know retry, try for a perfect score. You need some solid mods and some good RNG to get that perfect score. But that's basically it for you. And so you can kind of take that same idea and apply it to any teams that you have. Um, you know, you can take this list. Let's see where is it. There it is. You can take this list here. Uh, and you can basically make three uh, three man teams, two man teams, whatever you need to do just based off of this. And so for instance, if maybe you don't have the best teams and you only have like one of these guys and they're not the greatest, you could always do like an Aiden C3PO and then any other rebel because the you know C3PO is still gonna stack evasion on both of them. And so you're gonna get some high damage out of that last person. And so you can you can do quite a bit with those side things. Uh, another thing to do is, uh, this is very common with these two specifically, sorry, I put them in the wrong order, but uh, here's another little side strat is taking two rebels and you're doing the same exact thing, except we're trying to go for the Imperial and it's going to be on both of them. And so we'll whip up another. Uh, we'll whip up another mod. Uh, mod set for Chewbacca here. I don't have one saved right now, but for double rebels, if you're gonna go just double rebels, what you can do is you can do the same thing. Where we're doing. Uh, sorry, not offense. My bad. Speed. It's always speed. Speed is key. <clears throat> okay, so we're just gonna go through, get our speed. Oh, we don't have it sorted by speed. No wonder. I was like sitting here like 15 is not the fastest that I have. There we go. Get some solid speed around the board. Uh, and then we're looking at... We want offense, just like our last guy. Uh, this is the one that he's using. Do we have another offense? There's another offense. And then we want another crit damage. So let's find ourselves a crit damage. And there we go. And then our health and Voila. And so now both of them are modded for that crit damage, speed, and offense kind of thing going forward. Uh, and so then we bring this team in, we'll up the difficulty because you know you want to take people at the max difficulty that they can do it, and you just throw them in, and with double rebels you're just going to hit auto basic. So make sure in your settings that you have the ability to choose between the different types of auto. So you go up here and then you click on auto battle and you click on select option. And that allows you to click up here and you can auto basic uh, or auto just regular and it'll just use any ability. So we're just gonna wanna auto basic and just leave it going. That crit damage is gonna make them deal a lot of damage and so you can just leave them here. This isn't gonna deal, deal nearly as much damage as our Imperial Troopers uh, with our Rebels, but you know neither of these characters have evasion on them and so there's not really a point to using them with our Imperial Troopers. And so instead you can do duos like this where you're just dealing a lot of damage and going through people quickly. <clears throat> and so they're gonna get about two thirds of the score that you would normally get of a uh, Imperial Trooper team, which is still a great score because you know, two thirds of 1.2 million is still going to get you, you know, 800,000 uh, points. So you just kind of leave it be, let it go. Um, you know, we just kind of sit here and have some fun. So, overall, the raid seems super, super complex, but if you just keep in mind the stacking evasion and hitting the basic with the Imperial Troopers, you're going to be fine. And if you want to, these are really common characters right here, but if you want to do like a full Rebel team, you can do this. Um, 
you know, you can also stack it with a Rebel and Imperial you saw in that graphic. We'll go over to that graphic while we're kind of letting these guys do their thing. So you can see here there's some uh, Ewoks that work the same way. Uh, and then there's some Imperial Troopers. And so you end up with a lot of stuff that you can choose from. And if you want to pause on this graphic and take a look, it does explain a lot more, like, you know, what the problem is for giving yourself a third tune. You know, creating squads, modding, all that kind of stuff. Um... I will say Hera is one of the most important characters, and you got her for free, which is super, super nice. A quick side note is, I, I was mentioning uh, just now, that Hera Syndulla is one of the best characters for this, and the reason being is because she's not only great because she has evasion in this event, but she also has a second ability that stacks evasion, which kind of makes up for the fact that another character may not have evasion stacking. And so you can th use things like General Veers that you have lying around with Harris and Dula and do some good score without having evasion on both characters and having an optimized build. So Hera is a great plug and play to be with any Imperial Trooper that you happen to have up to Relic levels. Um, so keep that in mind as you're building out your teams and figure out how you want to do your teams for this raid. But, uh, looks like our attempt is over, and yeah, got about 800,000, which is awesome for just a couple rebels. So I'm going to submit that as well. And so there you guys go. That's basically how you get through this raid overall. Uh, just kind of keeping in mind how to get the best score. It's just going to be two people to avoid the enrage quickly. Uh, you're going to be stacking evasion, hitting that basic, and then for your rebels, you just... Put a whole bunch of crit damage speed and offense on them and then you just auto basic them so hopefully that helps i don't want to go too much into this raid because i personally don't enjoy this raid too much um but i want you guys to be able to succeed and help your guild without bashing your head into a wall so uh hopefully that helps thank you guys so much for watching and i shall see you guys in the next video